welcome to Sipno Tech, and welcome to 2017. Holy moly, it's 2017, and if you're like me, and you're feeling a little gloomy and a little kind of sluggish because the holiday season is over, well, we got CES 2017 going on in the state next to us in Las Vegas. Holy moly, there's so much to talk about. We will actually talk about that in an episode of the Sipno Tech Show coming up uh, this weekend, where we're gonna cover the whole event. We're gonna talk about all the important things you need to know, all the concepts, all the cool new products. But this video right here, we're gonna talk about something near and dear to me and also Lita. We love, 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 love Chromebooks and Chrome OS. We have been early adopters. We've owned multiple Chromebooks. We just love the whole experience. And if you are like us, you are rewarded right now at CES 2017 because holy moly, we have the future of Chromebooks. Everything we ever dream, dreamt about, everything we ever asked for, it's here right now in not one, not two, but apparently three new Chromebooks. But the problem now is which one should we buy? We, I mean, we, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have enough money to buy one of the three. But they all look so good. They all have pros and cons. So which one should you get? Should you get the ASUS Chromebook Flip 2? the Samsung Pro or the Samsung Plus. Well, what are the differences between the three? Let's talk about it right now, which one maybe we should get. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is build quality. Luckily for us, since the previous generation of Chromebooks, uh, starting with the Pixel and the Pixel 2 and also the Flip, the original Flip, and also the 13G1, which we did review on the channel, those were metal builds, so they started a metal build trend. Luckily for us right now, all three of these Chromebooks, the Flip 2, the uh, Plus and the Pro, all three of them are metal builds, thank God. So it's gonna give you a premium feel. For the, for the price points that they're selling at, it better be metal, it really better be metal. So this is great that it's a metal build, you're gonna feel a difference. One thing that plagued Chromebooks in its early lifespan, or actually even recent, until recently, was display quality. We were stuck in the archaic ages with the 600 to 720p range, and that was pretty difficult to look at, to be honest, especially the early Chromebooks, oh my gosh. And the most important thing for us nowadays is if, when we're looking for a tablet, a laptop, um, phones, any electronics in general is a good display because we spend so much time looking at it, our eyes are fixated, fixated on it for such a long period of time that we need something good to look at, something that uh, can be relaxing on your eyes. I'm happy to say all three of these Chromebooks are at least 1080p and up, so uh, that's a good sign. Here's the main difference that we need to start looking at uh, when distinguishing these three. The Asus Chromebook Flip 2 is a 1080p display. All three of them are LED displays, by the way. So we have a 1080p LED display on the Chromebook Flip with a 16 by nine aspect ratio, while the Samsungs, the Plus and the Pro, they're both quad HD displays. So we have quad HD displays on the two Samsung ones with a three by two aspect ratio, the same as the Google Pixel, uh, Chromebook Pixel, sorry, the Chromebook Pixel, same as the Chromebook Pixel. So that is a little different. And since it is a two-in-one device where you can flip it into a tent mode, into uh, a tablet mode, I actually kind of like that better because that three by two aspect ratio, if you haven't tried it, it actually is really nice to read. Um, all the iPads use that. And a lot of, some laptops are actually going to that now. So I'm actually really interested in that three by two aspect ratio. So I'm leaning a little more towards the Samsung aspect of it. Uh, the Samsung ones are 12.3 inches while the Asus Chromebook Flip is 12.5 inches. So they're in the 12 range, that 0.2 isn't a big difference, you won't really notice the difference. All right, here's where things start to get tricky and I'm totally undecided, so hopefully you guys can help me make a decision as well. But okay, let's look at this right now. Hardware, hardware in comparison with price. So the Asus Chromebook Flip 2 is $499, so $500, but you get an Intel Core M3 chip in there. So that's good, that's really good. The Samsung Plus is $450 and you don't get that Intel Core M3. You have a ARM processor in there that uh, it's not as great, obviously. <laughs> but the Pro version of that, which we don't have a price for right now, does get an Intel Core M3. Okay, so now let's also look at storage options. So for storage, we have four gigabytes of RAM on both 
of the devices, the Plus, the two that we have price points on right now, the ASUS Chromebook Flip 2 and the Plus, the Samsung Plus, both have four gigabytes of RAM, but the ASUS Chromebook Flip gives you 64 gigabytes of storage. We're talking about base model, of course, and also the Plus gives you only 32 gigabytes of storage. So while the Plus is $50 cheaper than the Chromebook Flip 2, you are getting the Intel Core M3 on that, while the Plus, you're only getting an ARM processor. Um, and you are getting less storage too as well on the uh, on the Plus. On the bright side though, we do have SD card start, micro SD card slot uh, support on all of the devices. So you do have additional storage there. It's a toughie, it's a toughie, especially since we don't know the price point for the Pro. It's difficult. And to make things even more difficult for us right now, the Chromebook Flip 2 is available for ordering right now. They're going to ship right now um, on B&H. You can actually buy it right now. Whereas the Chromebook Plus, the Samsung Plus, is available in February. Uh, with pre-orders going on right now, you can buy it on Samsung uh, for pre-order. But the P Pro version, which we don't have a price point on, will be released later on, probably around April, I believe. So that that is uh, no... Knowing us as Chromebook early adopters or just if you've been waiting for this to jump onto Chromebooks because of this Google Play Store thing, you've been waiting for this for a long time and you want it right now. You want to be the first ones to have it. So it's a very difficult decision. That's why it's very tempting to look at the Asus one and say, hey, it's a Core M3, 500 bucks. Wow, for $50 less, you don't get a Core M3. Uh, you don't get a M3. Uh, you know, I'm it makes matters worse for this decision. The ASUS Chromebook Flip does have a backlit keyboard while the Samsung Plus and the Pro do not have backlit keyboards, which is a curious thing to, to omit from the device. On paper, it does look like the ASUS has a little more battery life than the Samsung's, uh, but I'm gonna just say it's a wash right now. Uh, also the Samsung, uh, Chromebooks do have quad HD displays, so uh, we do need more power to power up quad HD displays over 1080p ones. So I would believe that the ASUS one will get more battery life, but it's basically a wash for me right now in terms of battery life. But what we can gauge, what we can't gauge as well is also the weight. The weight is basically a wash as well. The Samsung one, they say it's uh, 2.3 pounds, while the ASUS one is 2.6 pounds. So they're both pretty darn light for Chromebook tablets. Um, and since you can flip it 360 degrees on both of the hinges, they're both gonna be used in tablet mode. So you will be holding that 2.3 to 2.6 pound range in your hand. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it will get a little heavy compared to other tablets that you've used without a keyboard attached. One more thing to note, and this might be a really important thing to note, Play Store, Google Android Play Store experience Google and Samsung, Samsung especially, has made a big, big, big deal to make sure everybody knows, everyone in the world knows that Google and them worked really closely together to make this the IT Chromebook, the first Chromebook with official Play Store support where it is pre-installed on the Chromebook itself. So they wanted you to know that they worked really closely with Google and this is the IT Chromebook for the Play Store experience. Whereas the Chromebook Flip 2, does have the Play Store available, but on developer channel, on the unstable uh, channel, I believe. I believe I read, that's what I read. Uh, it is not pre-installed on the device and like other devices that have the Play Store currently, they have to go over to the unstable channel um, to access that Play Store support, just like I have it on my um, Chromebook 13G1 and also Lita on her original ASUS Chromebook Flip. So that is something to note. Maybe right now, the Play Store support might be better on the Samsung Plus when it comes out in February because it will be the first Chromebook with it pre-installed and, and they apparently work with Google really closely to make sure all the apps and everything worked really well on this device. Whereas uh, the ASUS Chromebook Flip 2 will get the final release of the App Store, the, the Play Store, the Google Play Store on its device with everybody else on the list that Google had compiled, all the Chromebooks that will get it we'll get that final um, version sometime earlier this year. So if I haven't convinced you yet one way or the other, 
you're in the same boat as me then. I am also kind of lost. I think I have eliminated the Pro because I have used a Core M on a Chromebook before with the Play Store. I have tested that for a period of time with the Chromebook 13 G1, the HB1, and that one doesn't have a touchscreen. So that's why I am I'm changing from that one to one of these devices. Um, using a Quad HD screen, it's hard to go back to 1080p. Like, I, I can see the difference, but I also can understand how a general consumer can say they can't see a difference in that. So for me personally, I think I'm leaning more towards the entry level, the plus, the Samsung plus, uh, more so than the Samsung Pro, because I don't think I need the Core M3. Um, I, although I, the techie in me, I'm really tempted by the Chromebook Flip 2 because not only because it's available right now, but because it does give you that M3 for $50 more than what you would pay for the Pro. And we haven't even talked about the stylus. So the stylus could be a gimmick feature of sorts, but I can also see how that could be useful because I have owned notes in the past and I do love that Samsung stylus. They offer the best stylus experience. And if it's even half of what they gave you in the previous note, the phones, I would be very happy with. So I just think overall that package that the Samsung Plus gives you, it's hard not to go for it. And it is the cheapest of the three options. Um, the only thing that's holding me back right now from putting a pre-order on that is the pricing on the Pro. The Pro is literally $50 more than the Plus, and it will be the same entry-level price as the Chromebook Flip 2, which is $500, then, you know, that's that, that's a must-buy. That's an easy upgrade. But I highly doubt it's going to be only $50 more. I, I really do think for that Core M3, Samsung's going to push it at least $100 more. So I think it's going to be probably $550 entry price for the Chromebook Plus uh, Pro, for the Chromebook Pro. So that's speculation, of course. There's no announcement saying that. Uh, but if you do want to put a pre-order right now on one of the devices, you actually the flip actually ships immediately tomorrow if you want. So for me, I'm leaning towards the plus. Tell me what you guys are leaning towards. I really want to know. <laughs> Am I in the minority? Uh, it, try to convince me to buy one of them because I, I for sure am going to get one. I just don't know which one. And I don't know if I want to wait until April. Everybody's going to get theirs. And I'm like waiting for the pro. I don't even know when they're going to announce the price. So, <laughs> oh man, it's the decisions, decisions. But that's what this channel is all about, to talk about these decisions and which one you should buy. So uh, let me know. Are you going to get the Asus Flip 2 right now? Or are you going to wait until February? Basically, what is it? Three more weeks for the Samsung Plus? Or are you going to wait even longer for the pro? Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to comment, like the video, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.